to whom much is given, much is expected comes to mind. And what, what I was given over the course of my career was to be blessed with a lot of opportunities uh, to, to do things and, and make a difference. Ray Henley and I have been friends for over 30 years. Uh, actually, I've known Ray since the early 1990s. We go, we go way back when Ray was working at DHS, uh, mostly with the Medicaid program. I am the most proud um, of the ways in which our friendship have evolved to make good things happen for children. You have been a terrific partner and definitely a gift to the people of this state. Ray is extremely good at putting together coalitions, uh, diverse groups of people to achieve a common goal. Uh, and I think, you know, things like uh, our kids, uh, programs like uh, legislation that we passed on the uh, Clean Indoor Air Act, different things like that where Ray has taken a leadership role and helped bring people together. He is He's remarkable in the variety of things that he does. Um, not only does he have a big heart for children and wanting to make the state better, but he's also a historian. If you've ever seen a slideshow or a presentation that Ray does, uh, it's full of cartoons. But he manages to string them together to make his point. In everything he's done, he's left it better than it was when he came in. You know, he's probably one of the most knowledgeable people in the country when it comes to Medicaid. And, and that, that's, that's unusual, and there aren't very many of those people out there. The most remarkable thing that he and I were able to do together was to advance our kids first, um, to improve the access to health care for children. Um, but there are many others. Well, Ray, it's been a long ride. It's been a great ride. Congratulations on your retirement. Uh, I wish you the best. Uh, on behalf of myself, the physicians of the state of Arkansas, and their organization, the Arkansas Medical Society, uh, and I think all the patients that they represent across the state, we want to say thank you for helping make our state a better place to live. Thank you, Ray, for all of the different ways in which you have contributed to the betterment of the people in Arkansas, most especially the children. I was out of college for a year. I was uh, working at Firestone across the street. I was selling tires, you know. Not a lot of money, but I got tired of that and um, got tired of working, you know, weekends. And somebody said, well, go take the civil service test. I said, okay. So I did that. And uh, a month later, I, I was uh, a welfare caseworker in training and uh, saw really up close, day in and day out, uh, the poorest of the poor. You know, I moved on from that to be uh, a foster care caseworker. I spent a better part of a year transporting emotionally disturbed adolescents around the country for placement because there were no facilities in the state. I got to help organize and, and chair a group called ARL AR Works, 35 organizations in the state. Again, within a you know, a year, 18 months, we, we, we had insured another quarter of a million people. We were the, probably the first state in the South that stepped up to do this. And again, we did what people said was impossible. I feel uh, enormously blessed to have had uh, the opportunities that I've had over the last 40 years in my career and the chance to serve uh, you know, here, here in Arkansas. And uh, would not have wanted to have been anywhere else. Just, Really proud of what we've all collectively done together.